The NBA playoffs rolled on over the weekend, and boy, we got some panic in the streets. How weird is it that we're entering an NBA second round? And look, we only have one series that is wrapped up, but we are staring down the barrel of KD has already been eliminated. Mm-hmm. LeBron is on the brink of being eliminated. Uh-huh. Giannis is on the brink of not even playing in these playoffs at all. Curry never played in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And then you also have got uh, Joel Embiid in the 76ers, an early exit from the postseason once again as they now stare down a 3-1 hole, and Embiid looks tired. Same with Jimmy and Bam. Yeah. In Miami. Yeah, Miami too. Miami too. Well, they're 2-1. They are way behind. I can't believe that they only have game four tonight. Dun, 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 dun. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, the uh, Pelicans and Thunder, obviously, they have game four as well, but yeah. that's broom time. Yeah, if we could see another sweep in, in two sweeps, which is not a- unusual for the first round, having a couple of sweeps No, and again, go down. you're looking at the number one seed here, and you're looking at the number, what, uh, technically like one and a half seed with Minnesota because everybody ended up within a game of each other. Like, it's... Good teams. Good teams getting brooms out. Like, that's that's what happens. Are we seeing more stars emerging, though? Because I think that's been the most fun part about the playoffs so far, is we're seeing stars emerging, or are we seeing more stars running into roadblocks and maybe coming to an end, a la Curry and the Warriors, LeBron and the Lakers, and the way that the, this first round has played out? Because... You have Jalen Brunson yesterday going for 47 points, a New York Knicks playoff record, which I absolutely loved what he said in his reaction after the game to setting the franchise's record for playoff points. I look back when I retire. Seriously, this is it's great right now. Helped us uh, get a win, but um, it's not going to do anything for us going forward. If there's a star to play for Tom Thibodeau, that's it. I, I do. I, I get what you're saying. I don't necessarily like that. And it's something that, that Dame struggled with. He's talked about how he just hasn't been able to, throughout his whole career, to really like appreciate moments when they happened. And now that he's older, I've talked to him about this, and he's been like, I wish I could have. Like I wish I would have been able to enjoy things in the moment because as I'm getting older, I'm noticing things that are gone. Like it's the, that moment's gone. You can't go back and live in that moment. You can't no. go enjoy that moment. Like I get what you're saying, but that's sports though, is that you yeah. can't take that moment for more than what it is, which is 47 helped you win a playoff game, got you one step closer to eliminating mm-hmm. the 76ers. Because if you enjoy that moment for too much and too long, then it is gone. You celebrate and you take in these moments after you win the ultimate prize, which is the title, because every single one of these guys is the competitors that they are. Your ultimate goal is playing in June, having a mm-hmm. parade in late June. And the thing is, though, if you don't enjoy those moments and you never get to win a title, then what? Yeah. And that's then yeah. that's then that's the thing is like that was one thing I always appreciated Dame for was that you, as he got older, especially there was this realization that there is more than just winning a title because we've kind of devalued sports to if you're not winning yeah. a title, it's nothing. It's like no, it's not nothing. But to I mean, your point, fans of, have devalued that, and I, and I think it's important for players to recognize that. Yeah, it's like it's okay to like celebrate. You, you were incredible that night. It, that, that's a a fun thing to do. Yeah, and I thought Anthony Edwards did that really well with the Timberwolves. As far as like Kevin Durant's my favorite player of all time. That's that's my guy. Like so, for me to like go out there and hand him that L, yeah. Yeah, I loved it. It was See, fun. And there's a difference between doing that after you eliminate him. Well, then he, he taking, did that after game two. Then taking it after you sit there and you go game to game and living in that moment. Like you have like having that narrow focus, there sure. is something to it. Yeah. Like there is something to getting over the hump into that to that place. But he said that again going into game yeah. two. Like it was after game one when they had that stare down. They had the little, you know, the meme that came out of that. But but then also, you get the Timberwolves who celebrate winning the play-in. And it was like, what are you guys doing? Here's an insane thing, talking about as it pertains to Minnesota. That is the first sweep in Minnesota sports history of their <laughs> professional teams. All of them. 
including the Minnesota Lakers. That's the Twins. That's the North Stars. That's the Wild. That's the Timberwolves. All of them. Been a pretty miserable sports city for a while. I mean, uh, the Twins were good in the late 80s, early 90s. But I mean, like, yeah. one sweep, that is the first sweep they've ever had. It's not like they haven't had teams there. Yeah. And it's not like they haven't had teams that have played, you know, play for a series. long time. And I was like, oh my, that's the Minnesota Timberwolves' third playoff series win. Yeah, I saw something that, like, Goodness. Ant Edwards was, uh, like, seven the last time they 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 advanced to the conference semifinals. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. <laughs> it was this a long time. The first time the Phoenix Suns have been swept since the Portland Trailblazers did it to them in 99. Okay. That is a long time. Yeah. I mean, goodness gracious. But to your point of what you, you started the segment by asking was, are there more old stars fading or more new stars growing? If the NBA is smart, it's more new stars growing. Because they have got to let go. Because as you talked about, LeBron's on his way out. KD's on his way out. Or KD's out. Uh, Booker, who's a prime guy, is you know out of the playoffs. Jimmy, what, 35 years old, he's on his way out. Steph's already out. And yet, what is being marketed right now? You still see LeBron, yep. Steph, KD. Now, I'm not saying I want to see one single more What a Pro Wants commercial. Oh, hey. hey. I am glad everybody else is catching on. I was on this weeks ago. I said two weeks ago. I was done with it during the NCAA tournament. What? And it is now to the point where everybody has turned on what a pro wants. No, yeah, they're starting flex. to turn on the Thunder. <laughs> because like, they're, of they're it? the fun little team. It's like, no, no, you're not the fun little team anymore because this commercial sucks. Yeah, now I hate you. Yes, and there's been a lot of that going on. <laughs> but I think th- this is a turning point. Oh, I'm sorry. Point. Last time... Uh, I, last time the Minnesota Timberwolves won a playoff series, Anthony Edwards was two, three. He was three years old. Gobble up all of the. It suck. was the two thousand three two thousand four season when they lost in the conference Good finals. God, he was born. That's right, he's twenty two. He was born in two thousand one, no. and it was two thousand four. The last time they won a playoff series. God, I thought it was later than that. I thought they, I thought they won right before Garnett. No, yeah. no, no. Two thousand three, two thousand four, and then they lost their neck. They went from 04. Their next playoff appearance was in two thousand seventeen, eighteen season, where they lost in the first round, and then twenty one, twenty two, lost in the first round. Jeez. Last year, lost in the first round, and now they got over the hump and they got to the playoffs and won a series. They and not just won a series, swept the Phoenix Suns. And the other thing, I mean, there's so many things we can talk about coming out of this, but Cat actually not sucking in an elimination game was mind blowing. Anthony Edwards taking a mantle as maybe a top ten, not even maybe a top ten player in the NBA. No doubt about it anymore. I mean, like, it it's amazing too. Everybody's like new face of the league, Anthony Edwards. Was it four months ago we had send a video? Yeah. Was it was a major story that it, he will he will not be the face of the league. Zoop. It will be, it will nobody. Be, it will be Victor Wembanyama. Nobody is talking about right now. Is like, uh, boy, the news cycle really churned that one out really fast. They'll, the league will not put him as the featured guy because it, it's not just send the video. It's the IG posts, the the homophobic IG posts. Like, yep. he's he has a sordid past, and he's only been in the league a couple years. Like, they are not risking John Morant two point No, and that that's going to be the problem with kind of these young stars of the league because it's not just Anthony Edwards. You also have Shea Gilgis Alexander has on a bigger stage, a grand stage, has popped for the Oklahoma City Thunder. I think he's averaging what 28 uh per game in this series so far. You have yes. Jalen Brunson who is taking New York by storm and it, the way that he has been able to put the Knicks on on his back and get the Knicks to one game from elim- eliminating Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers. You got Tyrese Halliburton, who may not be the scoring threat, but watching him play, you sit there and you're saying, this is a star player that we are watching play against the M- Milwaukee Bucks up and down the floor. And next year, it's going to be name recognition to go along with hopefully a healthy Tyrese Halliburton mm-hmm. as well. You, you've you got so many guys that are popping now that the league can't not go down this path. They can't. Otherwise, they're, they're, they're ruining what they're building. Which is 
the transition. This is the post LeBron transition. That's what they ha- you have to get used to life after LeBron, Steph, Steph KD. and KD. Yeah. And they this was like going to be back to Jordan in that vacuum of no stars till LeBron and came the along. The league kind of went and albeit it was only a couple of years, mm-hmm. but a few years, but remember what happened in those few years? That was David Stern, the dress code. It was well, Kobe, a bunch of Kobe came along and then he had Colorado. And then Colorado happened. And it was like, Okay, we're going to move on. Uh, LeBron, come on down. And look, Kobe is a great example of of why they're not going to prop up Anthony Edwards right now. His game, it fits that profile of being the next star of the league. When you watch him play, you're like, that dude can take over a game. He's fun to watch. He is fun to listen to Mm -hmm. after games, too, and interviews. And you see his interaction with his teammates. And they all love him, Yeah, right? But you can't. Ignore the other things when you're talking about the corporate of it all, the high profile nature of being a face of a league or not just being the face of the league, a face of the league. You're you're looking at at Wemby, probably Shea, (sighs) who that next guy is. I don't know because they because the league's going to make sure that they're clean. You have to because they're just not going to jaw Zion because that's the thing is they got burned not only by, by Kobe. In that period, but recently, John Zion. And you Those ha- were two American born stars that you were going to prop up. And now they're just like, maybe we do need to go the international path. Well, you you also have to think you, you've got to have one in a bigger market, too. And that's where you go, could it be the, and then you have an unwilling participant for the face of a league or one of them in Jalen Brunson. His game is amazing. He yes. plays in New York, but. Is it sexy enough to be? We are going to prop him up, and does it, does he have the personality to go along with it? I love Jalen Brunson, oh God, but yeah. he's got edge to him, mm-hmm. and it is a sharp edge that he has. On the flip side of this, we have guys that are their teams are fading out, and they're fading really quickly, and there is a lot of reason for panic in a lot of these these quote unquote super teams that we've been seeing. 